we didn't cross, if we'd gone behind them, then uh, you know they would have been us across the finish line. So we had to make it work. But from what I've seen at the, at the replay and how I can understand the umpires looking at the call, we were still accelerating out of our jibe. So from a long way out, it probably didn't look that good. But as we accelerated and turned the boat down, you can actually see when we actually the boats come together, we're, we're a, a long way across. So yeah, I, th I think it's a bad call, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, ultimately we would have loved to put on a, a better show, at least get into the final uh, three sail off on our home event. So yeah, I think we're all disappointed with that. But that said, we, we're happy with how we're sailing. You know, we've had a, a bit of a tough event, but we managed to dig dig in and catch, pull up a lot of places through the fleet and, and get a reasonable finish. Uh, we're ecstatic about coming second in this event. Uh, it was just a real tough day for us and it was looking like we weren't going to make the final with uh, gear breakage. Um, but a huge effort by our shore team and the tech team to get us racing in the final race, uh, final fleet race, race five. That incident, um, the wind was shifting a lot and we knew that there was a, a header and pressure so coming because we had seen their angle and we, we got the pressure right at the wrong time for him um, because we were just slowly bearing away all the time and making it, it hard for him to cross. Yeah, I don't know if it should have been a penalty, I don't know. I knew it was close. Oh, look, it was a challenging day on the water is in a hole. It was uh, very shifty, very light, and uh, they sort of had the breeze trying to go either side of quite a big hill, so you're getting big righties and big lefties, and we probably just sailed like a pack of turkeys and didn't really get it around the racetrack very well. So it's a bit, bit disappointing, but it's a great opportunity for our team to learn. Yeah, look, uh, we're working on consistency, clearly. Um, we've made an investment in this in this combination, and it's going to take time. I mean, I think the perfect example is look at look at the Kiwi team. Uh, it's really taken them the entire season. Uh, they've slowly worked away, got there, sharpened up, and won an event. So we feel we're on a bit of a similar path. Coming into more pressure at five. So pleasing for us as a group, you know, I think everyone in our team has been putting in so much hard work to, to improve and I think that really showed out there today. Um, yeah, we're so much more comfortable in the fight than, than we have been. Oh, we're super happy. You know, obviously, we've been in this league for a little while now and it you know, really felt like we were on the back foot the whole way through that first season. But you know, to come out of uh, you know, it's just season three and to have a win on the board in the third event is uh, yeah, pretty pleasing for us going into the, the later half of the season. I think it's just great for the team to, to sort of show that you know, they can do it. Cause we've, all known, we've all known the potential's there. It's just about putting it together. And they've been working on a lot of things behind the scenes. So it's just cool to see it come together. And, you know, finally someone beats the Aussies. I think the whole fleet's pretty happy about that. So it's, um, yeah. Far 
brake. Okay, pressing now. Big head up. Yeah. Uh, about time. Okay, there you go. Go for it. So, more down. Just keep putting it going. Not much breeze on me, mate. I'll be happy.